No, it isn't a spare room. It's my bedroom. And no, it's not a wardrobe. It's my closet. But I never know what I'm going to find when I open the door. Follow me and we'll explore mystic lands together. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into... You would expect a quaint old farmhouse like this one to have been built on a foundation of love. But that was 150 years ago. That spirit is no longer here, and the flesh of this structure sadly now rests on a foundation of feces. Unwilling to sit my tripod on the floor, it becomes a constant passenger in my palms. From what I understand, the last resident vacated, leaving behind a small herd of goats. These goats were observed to flock together every morning. Staring off into the east, ostensibly to watch the sun rise. Now, the only wildlife I observed were the giant turkey vultures, startling my movements at every turn, and the carcasses of their banquets. Little remnants of past lives remain, the type of tokens that provide interesting insight into the lives of the people that lived and loved here. Obscure, random remnants skulk each room. The control plate from a stereo. A playing card. A picture frame. 75 year old bottles. But nothing indicating the content of the character of its past residents. and nothing enticing enough to plant a tripod on that floor.